Today we're at Higgins Raceheads where we're going to look at the advantages of the SB2 platform over the older style Siamese inline cylinder head. You've got onto this in the last few years, and not only do you sell cylinder heads, you sell a complete package, but we'll get into that in a minute. But what are the differences in layman's terms versus this, these two cylinder heads? Well, the, the biggest thing at the moment is the way that we're selling them. Yeah. So, so it obviously comes fully CNC poured, fully machined, but, but the biggest thing is along with that, it comes with a manifold that's done. So it's, it's done, finished. There's a lot of differences, especially the way we do the manifold and especially the way we do this head. Like, you probably can't see it so much, but I'll just try to explain some of them simple. Especially, we're talking single carby manifolds at the moment. We won't, you know, we'll just stay there. The SB2, all runners point to the middle. It's tighter in, closer to the centre of the carby. The biggest thing with these is the, the outside runners. So it's all about line of sight. You look down that manifold, yeah. and you can see You can see port. through every port, yep. can't you? Yeah, like the inline stuff, like the, old, the Siamese stuff, there's a place for that too. Like there's a lot of classes that need inline cylinder heads. That's the rules. And, and you still offer a lot of inline heads. Yeah, we still you? do yeah. a lot. That's actually a Brodex 13 degree head. Mm -hmm. We still do them for people that need them or may have them already or, or for whatever reason, they don't want to change everything. There's a lot of differences. Like it's cant valve for starters, the, which means you got 11 degree intake and four degree cant. As the lift goes up, it's always going away from the yes. bore. So it's fully unshrouded. Mm -hmm. 11 degrees means, again, once the lift gets to a certain height, it's unshrouded again. It's out of, there's no chamber. You look at an 18 degree or a 13 degree, well, you've got that awful chamber mm -hmm. that comes right up around the back of the valve on the spark plug side. So it's always shrouded. I guess the big misconception though is because of this, this yours is obviously called the SP2H, but its origins come back from NASCAR, and because NASCAR's you know high-end pinnacle motorsport, a lot of people just assume you just can't run this style cylinder head in a, in a street engine. It was um, misunderstood, probably. Mm. But you got you got to remember they were six six liter. Yeah. At their pinnacle, they were turning over ten thousand RPM. Yeah. So so the port sizing is a big thing in that mm. because we manufacture our own heads. Our ports come tiny from 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 the foundry, so I can run as low as probably. 2.4 minimum cross-sectional area. Okay. Yeah. The valve sizes I can run low, like down, I could go down to two ones if I have to. Probably our best selling head is what I call the SP2 H1. That's got 2.7, 2.8 minimum cross-sectional area. It's still got a 2180 yeah. valve. So I can run a big valve in these because because of the can in them. Not like a, say, 13 degree head or an 18 degree head where it's running down the bore. It's going away from the bore. So, so I can get a bigger valve. And, and you've also got the um, valve positions. They're canter, so they're twisted. You've got less bore shrouding. Okay, so obviously the cylinder head is only one part of an induction package. Let's look at the manifolds and the differences there. As you said before, the line of sight in this one is completely different too. Yeah, yeah 100%. These are, are, are good manifolds in their time. Like we use a lot of these manifolds in, in, in applications as well, but it's just, if we take a quick look at the two manifolds together, you look down there and you can see the end runners, which is very, very important. You know, you look down this one here and you can't even see the end runners. Mm. And you can't see the end runners because you've obviously got two ports side by side. Side by side, yeah. You know, and they're both coming out straight. So there has to be a, has to be a um, divider coming down here. Some of the other things with the SP2, as you can see, that the head size of it, it's a cube. Mm. It's a pretty big cube it compared is. to a, a lot smaller head. You've got a lot more um, area to put your water jackets. So you've got a lot more water going through the head for cooling. And then you obviously can, you've got a lot more room for your, your port designs. I think another misconception, Nathan, with these cylinder head packages is the price. It might be expensive to some, but you're getting the complete deal, it's finished. Whereas if you're buying other products mismatched, you've got to then go get them machined, finished. Oh, 100% there, Luke. Everything's done, the heads are done, it's, they match each other, they actually match what you're doing, we yeah. do them to suit. Like if you're, if you're building a, a six litre, we do it different if you're going to build 450 cubes. Yeah, because you've done a fair bit of R&D with this package yeah. as well, haven't you? A massive R&D. One thing I'll say, and I'm not going to put a horsepower figure on it, but 
dynos are dynos. You know, we'll forget. We won't even worry about what flow benches say. But if you're making 700 horsepower with that head, there is a lot of horsepower on the table. Yeah. If you come to these heads, the other thing is you've got to remember a lot of people, and I'm probably to blame for it too. I probably did it 10 years ago. I only, you know, now over the last five, six years, we've really got onto this manifold and head combo. Must be sold together. A lot of people just look at a flow figure from a cylinder head and that's it, isn't they, it? They forget about the whole lot. Mm. And hey, there's a lot of, lot of head guys out there who will sell you cylinder heads and then you've got to go and chase your manifold yourself. So, so you've got to go and um, match port your manifold. Yeah. But even match porting this is not going to get you anywhere where you should be. Like a, a proper head porter, manifold porter, there's over $2,000 there would be 40 hours work just in that manifold yeah. to get it where it should go. Yeah. Like it's, it's, a, it's a good base, but it's a lot of money. And you also offer, you can, you can even offer valve cutters, can't you, for this? Pretty much when you, when you buy it, you'll get, yeah, it's, we can go bare heads as you see here. Bare heads, valves, springs, billet rocker covers, the valley plate we've also made. Yeah, the whole cams, we can get your cams all uh, spec'd up for you. The whole lot we can do. And obviously you can do EFI, carby, whatever you want. I noticed you guys are even making your own billet fuel rails. Yeah, yeah. the billet fuel rails come with the, obviously the billet manifolds. But yeah, we can turn this into a um, injected manifold. Starting to get popular. Yeah, well that, that's actually designed to, um, again, like people say that the, the SB2 head is, you know, high RPM. This manifold's designed with super long runners in it. Yeah. We've closed up the cross-sectional area in it, all for torque. In the development stage of these heads, the, you know, the Chevy heads we're talking about, hey, even the Ford heads, the LS heads, we've made, over the last, say, five years, we've made massive changes. Gail Pauley in North Carolina, he's been a huge, massive, massive help for me. Like, the knowledge that he has is, like, unbelievable. I've spoken to a lot of engine builder head guys over the years, and, and what he knows, it just blows me away. So he's, you know, I, I owe a lot to him. Back in Melbourne, you know, Australia, we've got a great team here helping us out. So, so it's not a one-man show by any means. It, it, we've, got, we've got half a dozen workers behind the scenes that you don't see. Over the last 10 years or so, Nathan, the differences I've seen in you guys and just in general in cylinder heads and induction packages, the horsepower people are making now, even on pump fuel, is incredible. And whether it's your new SB2 style, SB2H platform or LS, Ford, or even the older style inline, inline GM engines. Hey, they're all good packages, aren't they? You can make oh, power with any, everything. It's the, it's the people behind the scenes that make this happen. Oh, 100%. Like, like, like today, like we, we still do these 13 degree, 15 degree, 18 degree. Today, as we speak, there's, yeah. probably, there's probably, I think at the, right at the moment, there's two sets of 18 degree heads going through the, through the shop now. So, so we still do them, but obviously we've spent a lot of time on our stuff, our, our stuff we manufacture here in Melbourne, we've spent a lot of time. And obviously, you know, that's why I think it's the best. All right, so the big elephant in the room, Nathan, is the pricing. How does it compare your SB2H cylinder head induction package versus doing one of these older setups? I get a lot of phone calls about this. Oh, it's too expensive for them. Mm. Well, if you're looking mm. at, say, these heads here, 13 degree, 18 degree style head, uh, the way we the way we can do it, and then obviously the amount that we do is we're not doing one offs. We're doing like you know five sets at a time. Hey, that head there will probably be five thousand. This head here, five thousand. Same price. The manifold is where it's at. You're going to buy the manifold for that. Look, and I'm only guessing here, so I'm just going to say eight hundred bucks. Then you're going to have to spend two thousand dollars on it to get it right. That manifold's let's say fifteen hundred bucks roughly. Yeah. The valves are the same price. Doesn't matter if it goes in this head or that head, they're the same. Titanium, stainless, same price. Springs, they both have the same springs. If you want to set them up with the same springs, same price. The biggest difference is the rockers. The SB2 rockers is about $800 dearer than those. If you go through head, manifold, valves, the whole top end, roughly a thousand bucks. Yeah, but also going this route, there's a lot of um, time to buy all these parts and get them to machined and all working together as opposed to just buying it all done. Oh, 100%. Like, but yeah, if you just buy a set of heads off someone down the road mm -hmm. and you buy a manifold on eBay, you're going to have to um, 
pay someone a lot of money to get it anywhere near my SP2 stuff. I know we touched on earlier about building one of these in a street application, but what can you offer in terms of different designs or different options for customers? With the head, the way we've laid it out, we've got several different port configurations. Like I said earlier on, we can go from say 2.4, 2.5 minimum cross section if you want that small, yeah. all the way up to 3.6. Wow, okay. You know, we can run, you know, we run our valve sizing, we can run up to say 2, 230 we've had in them, you know, down to 2, 2 100 if we want. The, the range is unlimited. So what you're saying is you can build a 1,000 horsepower street engine maker? Oh, 100%, 1,100. 1,100.